Hello viewers. So in this problem, we are given three capacitors which are connected in series and all are identical capacitors. We are supposed to find out the total capacitance and we are supposed to find out the potential difference across each of them if they are connected with 120 volts battery. Okay, so now let's draw the capacitors which are in series. So this is our first capacitor. Then this is our second capacitor and this is our third capacitor. Now these three capacitors are connected with a battery of 100 volts. I always tell my viewers to be very careful when they draw capacitors and battery. The terminals of the battery are the positive terminal is longer than the negative one whereas the capacitor plates are of equal lengths, right? Okay, now if we, we already know that the capacitances are same and the voltage across the battery is V. Now in parallel connection, the voltage across all the capacitors are same, whereas in series connection, this voltage splits up between all these three capacitors. So the potential difference between the two plates of capacitor 1 V uh, 1 would be V1, then of 2 would be V2 and V3 would be the potential difference between both the plates of the third capacitor and the sum of all the voltages should be equal to the total voltage of the battery. So this is the most important equation of the series connection and apart from this we do know that in series connection all the capacitors whatever may be the number of capacitors, they would be having same amount of charges on each of the plate. So the charges would be same, potential difference may or may not be same depending upon the capacitance. So now this is the relationship between the equivalent capacitance and the individual capacitances. This is for series connection and for parallel connection, they are directly added. Now this is 1 upon C equivalent and we do know that this is, sorry, this is, is equal to 1 upon 9 picofarad, 1 upon 9 picofarad, again 1 upon 9 picofarad. So this turns out to be 3 by 9 picofarad, right? And actually picofarads are written here because C is at the denominator part. So this is and if I do the reciprocal C equivalent turns out to be 9 by 3 that is 3 picofarad. This is the answer to our first problem. Now talking about the second part, the potential difference. Now if the capacitance, capacitances are same and equivalent capacitance is 3. So now I can imagine that a single capacitor instead of all the 3 I am removing the three capacitors and I am substituting the equivalent capacitor of three microfarad, sorry, three picofarad and with the same battery like this over here and this is 120 volts and this is three picofarad. Then I may also be able to find out the charge. Sorry, this is capital F. Then Q is equal to CV which turns out to be three picofarad multiplied by 120 volts. So this is equal to 3 into 10 raised to minus 12 into 120 volts. So this is equal to is a 36. So this is 360 into 10 raised to minus 12. And this will be in coulombs because we are dealing with the SI units. Okay. So now since we have the charge, we can actually find out the voltage because we know that Q is equal to CV. So the voltage across each capacitor would be actually equal to Q by C. And since the charge on each of the capacitors are equal and the capacitance are of all the three capacitors are equal. So if you find the potential drop across one, that will be the same as potential drop across the other resistors as well. So Q is equal to 360 into 10 raised to minus 12 coulomb divided by the capacitance turns out to be 9 into 10 raised to minus 12 farad 
and since again everything is in SI unit I should get my final answer in volts so this is 10 raised to minus 12 getting cancelled and my answer is 40 volts so here also 40 here also 40 and here again 40 and if I sum these three I am getting my answer as 120 volts so we are good to go